Witcher! Emperor's orders! Witcher, what a pleasant surprise. Warm welcome. Thank you, your majesty. You should have come with my daughter. Your welcome would have been different. Where is she? Close. Close, White Wolf, is what you are to decapitation. You're insolent because you believe I cannot afford to hurt you. And you're right. Yet that will change one day, when you are no longer indispensable, but disposable. But enough of that. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. What do you want? Fringilla Vigo. Been told you promised Yennefer you'd free her. I can see. I know you're a busy man. So here's a letter. Ought to refresh your memory about the Lodge. Even Yennefer's humblest requests seem like threats. I've always liked that about her. Very well, so be it. Truly prepared to forgive them? Amnesty in exchange for help? I'm prepared to abide by the agreement I made with Yennefer. Didn't answer my question. Nor must I. Time I was on my way. At last, a point we agree on. Guards! Bring me Fringilla Vigo. You may remove her Dimeritian shackles. No introductions are necessary from what I've heard. Farewell. Fringilla. Been a while. The other sorceresses, they're on Ginvale, near Ard Skellig. We could take a boat. I'm sick to death of boats. And I despise teleports. But have it your way. Let's go. Yennefer. She'll be here soon, and she's sure to want to talk to you. I don't doubt it. Yes, Geralt? You look good. For a captive of Emir, is that what you mean? Seems like he's shown you surprising leniency. No interrogations, no torture. Or did you just tell him everything he wanted to know? If I'd told him everything, he'd hardly still need me alive, wouldn't you say? Anyway, we shan't speak of it. I and what concerns me have not been a concern of yours for some time now. Huh? So long. Whoa! Okay, Mr. I never doubted you were. But why did you? You might have just asked. To hear you reveal all about your experiments with the Elder Blood gene? Unlikely. I've hidden nothing that could be useful in our struggle against Eredin. As regards the Elder Blood, you're all aware Ciri is exceptional. I am alone only in knowing to what extent. Or maybe you're just obsessed with her. I'm obsessed? Yes, Geralt? Margarita any better? I managed to accelerate tissue regeneration. She's feeling much better. In fact, we must bring Eridin here as soon as possible. Otherwise, I'm afraid these sorceresses of yours will start fighting amongst themselves. Went by your laboratory. I trust you did not make a mess. Didn't mention you were the NL Elves' chief source of knowledge about Ciri's abilities. I didn't mention many things. Fortunately, they're no longer important. Your experiments with the gene, Elder Blood, that's not important. I pursued those studies to protect Ciri. To protect Lara Doran's blood. 
in whomever's veins it courses. So maybe you're hoping to gain control of Lara herself, after all these years? Lara is dead. My only hope is that Ciri will fulfill her calling and survive. From the look of things, pretty soon Siri won't need your help anymore. Nor yours. True. She'll do whatever she wants, and I'll support her. What about you? Ready to let her live her own life? I shan't force her to do anything, if that's your question. Charming world you and Elle have got. Could easily fall in love with the place. Tell me, how do you do it? Sit around playing flute, painting rutting unicorns in gorgeous landscapes? building ornately sculpted towers. And then you murder us, without batting an eye, without a hint of guilt. How? Do you humans feel guilt when you murder Enche elves? Or dwarves? Or dryads? <laughs> we are the same. Simply because we both firmly believe others are inferior. Tell me something more about Karanthir. Know him well? Know him? I reared him. Raised, don't you mean? No, Geralt. I began shaving him long before he was born. For centuries, I brought together pairs of elves manifesting certain abilities, those able to manipulate time and space. He is the result of these efforts. Caranthia, a golden child. Golden child who grew up to be a criminal. You imprisoned Ciri the first time you met her. Now you protect her while fighting against your own kind. Quite an about face. First of all, I did not imprison her. She found me. It was her destiny. Yeah, sure. Get to the second of all. Why are you helping her? Because she is a danger. A mortal one. You look at her and see a human. A ward. A daughter, even. I look and see the Elder Blood. A power that can destroy the world. A power that must be kept from Eredin's power-addled hands at all costs. Admittedly, our motives differ. Yet in spite of that, we share a goal. So you would be wise to trust me. Or at least try. So long. Looks familiar. <laughs> I have a wallop yet. He believes the wood's cursed. <laughs> 